Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at some of the features in iOS 26 that won't be available for all iPhones. Now, when iOS 26 was first announced, all iPhones did get the new redesign, liquid glass design, which is available on all models. However, there's a handful of features that won't be available on certain devices depending on the device that you own. And now I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is the latest iPhone as of the filming of this video. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and I have an older iPhone 11. So from oldest to newest, let's take a look at some of the features that won't be available on certain devices depending on the device that you own. Now, I want to start off with the photos and one specific feature that Apple announced that I think it's really cool, that is spatial scenes. Now, spatial scenes will turn a 2D image into a 3D image, if you will. So this image here, this is an image of myself, a photo of myself, and you see here that when you tap into this image, there's a button available on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max that is not available on the iPhone 11. It's this button right here. Now, this button is called spatial scenes. Now you see there that the iPhone quickly goes to work and it turns a 2D image into a 3D image, if you will, as you can see right there. It's very, very convincing. However, this feature is not available on the iPhone 11. So spatial scenes, if you have an iPhone 11, you won't be able to use this feature. Now, not only can you go ahead and turn this 2D image into a 3D image, but you can also go into the lock screen here on your iPhone that supports spatial scenes and create a spatial scene right there on the lock screen as well to create a wallpaper with a 3D effect as you can see right there. And again, looks pretty cool, very convincing. It turns a 2D image into a 3D image, which is really cool. But again, this is something that won't be available on the iPhone 11 when you update to iOS 26. And that's one of the cool features that I really like. Next, I wanna talk about on-screen visual intelligence. This is a really useful feature that Apple announced at WWDC coming to iPhone with iOS 26. And the feature allows you to identify things on your screen. So for example, let's say you're browsing social media and you see a computer and you take a screenshot of that, right? You have the option to highlight it to do a search. You can do an image search or ask a question about the screenshot, really useful features. So if I highlight this right here, obviously this is an iMac. It should give me results of a pink iMac here, as you can see right there. So if you see something like a jacket or perhaps a pair of shoes, you can highlight them and see exactly where you can buy them and exactly what it is, right? So it's really cool, it's a really cool feature and it works on screen on your device. So if I take a screenshot here of the home screen, again, I can ask, I can highlight or I can do a general search. If I highlight the Apple image right there, or the Apple icon right there for Apple intelligence, it gives me results based on the icon that I highlighted there on the home screen. But this feature, which again is very, very useful, is only available for Apple intelligent devices. So if you were looking forward to that one, that one will not be available on any iPhone other than Apple intelligent devices, which at the moment is iPhone 15 Pro Max, or newer. Now, another really cool feature that Apple talked about at WWDC is the ability to live translate any text or phone call on your iPhone. Now, this is something that's currently available on Apple intelligent devices. So you see here, I have a screenshot. I was speaking to someone in Spanish. It was suggesting to translate that message thread into English in real time. Now, you can also do this with phone calls. So if I call someone, let's go ahead and call someone right here. Let's go ahead and call myself. And once I answer the phone call, we have this option right here on the bottom which clicks on more right here and then you have the live translate this is in beta right now but you see here I can translate from English or any of these other options to French German Portuguese Brazilian and of course Spanish so these options are only available on Apple intelligent devices for messages and phone calls these are gonna be very useful if you're traveling and things like that or if you speak multiple languages but sometimes you don't quite understand everything this is going to be very useful for messages and phone calls. And there you guys have it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this information useful and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.